What's going on guys? How's it going? Uh, I left the cabin as you can tell and I uh, figured I'd change things up a little bit today. And I didn't bring a lot of food out for this trip because I wanted to see if there was any opportunity around the cabin for some, some additional foraging slash food. I got my trusty club with me. That should help. If I get really up close and personal, I got my knife with me, which should do the trick. So, goal is, is to uh, start out that way and just kind of see where it goes and, and uh, see what I can find. That was a lot of fun. I enjoyed doing that. I love these little ideas of doing stuff like that. It just keeps uh, keeps it uh, keeps it fresh and fun, and not uh, obviously a professional cinematographer or producer or anything like that or director. But um, I love little ideas like that. Get ideas from my girlfriend. She does a great job of thinking little tidbits to throw in as well. So I really, really, really enjoy that. But yeah, that was a lot of fun. Anyway, that is my dinner time. It's all stabbed and beaten up now, but I think that would be hilarious. So, so yes, yeah, so I'm out at the cabin for another overnighter. Should be a good one. I'm not really going to probably film too much, to be honest with you. I'm just going to film what I feel like filming and um, go from there. But that was that was just something I thought I'd put together for you guys. Hope it turns out well, because as of this point, I haven't edited it yet. So, um, yeah, so I haven't even got the fire going. I dropped all my gear off, so there's a lot of crap to do. So, if uh, something interesting comes up, you know, then I'll film it. I, I'd like to go for a walk later maybe or something like that. Um, I might collect more wood, I don't know. Like, there's really not much to do. It's the dead of winter. It's just for the holidays. And uh, maybe we'll have a little chat about the holidays and stuff like that in a little bit. But for the moment, uh, I'm going to get myself situated. And uh, thanks for watching that intro. It's a lot of fun to do. Uh, hit the like button down below if you like that little intro that I did. And uh, send a comment if you like, if, you know maybe things I can improve or do better but uh, it was kind of rushed I wish I, I wish I took a little more time doing this stuff a little stage but it's different in the winter where you're getting cold and you're running around so I'm pretty sweaty from just doing some of those running sequences so. but yeah so uh, yeah send a comment down below say hi and uh, you know what I'm just gonna get cleaned up and then we'll go from there talk to you soon as you can see it's about zero degrees out so it's not too cold Supposed to be down to I think minus 10 tonight. I'm not sure. Um, 
I think my last trip here was minus 10, so I know that this stove is more than capable of keeping this place warm, so yeah, should be pretty good. It's actually not too bad in here at all. I mean, the sun's not, the sun never gets really high around here. It basically crests over and then it drops right down, so the best time for the sun is in the summer, unfortunately. Uh, but it, it keeps sunlight coming across the track of the cabin for most of the day, so that works out really well too. So. Oh baby. Perfect. Instant gratification. Well, it wouldn't be a normal trip to the cabin without going to get some water. Uh, I always boil water on the stove uh, through the night just to keep moisture in the air. You don't need a ton of it, but uh, I think the funny thing is I think it causes issues. I think the condensation from the the uh, the pot goes up and hits the pipe and then collects and then drops down as soot or something like that. I'm not really sure. I looked it up on the internet and it, basically it means I probably just have wet wood that I'm burning and that I need to burn it a little hotter. Now I had a subscriber actually mention to me to get a temperature gauge for this and, and it's something I will look forward to getting uh, in the new year because uh, it, it could help in, in understanding how the stove's operating and get better performance out of it. So anyways, I gotta go grab some uh, water as per usual and get topped up for, for at least a few hours. Wind's a howling out there actually. Um, yeah, still pretty cold, pretty windy. It's a nice day. Otherwise, though, sun came out, which it wasn't supposed to. But, man, I love this cabin. It's just nice to be here. Instantly starts to warm up. It was minus one in here when I came in. I wonder what the temperature is now. I'm going to take a look. Well, it's in the positives now, so that's good. Uh, it'll take a little while to heat everything up. It's a bit of a process. And without proper insulation on the walls, it doesn't really work either. So, anyways, I'm gonna run down, and get some water, and uh, come back up and get some lunch. And maybe we'll have a quick chat, uh, talk a little bit about what's going on and the holidays and all that jazz, and, and go from there. Nice and toasty in here already. All the heat just coming off it already. Great. I might have told you this before, but this was a stove that I bought used for like a hundred bones. Got it from a guy that made it. He's in a college, local college, and one of them's a welding class, and he made it himself. Uh, it's not perfect, but it's oh, so perfect for what I need right now. You know, maybe someday I'll upgrade it and I'll kind of tinker with things as I go along. But for now, they one perfect. Well, I think I'll uh, keep my uh, jacket on for a little bit. It's still not that warm in here, but uh, I guess I'll get a coffee going and um, maybe we'll have a little chat. I gotta get something to eat. I'm getting pretty hungry. All that running around kind of uh, kind of worked up an appetite. Put a little hot chocolate. This bad boy. A little Starbucks V8 with hot chocolate. I think they call it a mochaccino. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Should be good. Well, it's been a little while since I made a video, and uh, channel's doing really well. Um, some have may have noticed, and probably most have noticed, that uh, the channel's been re-monetized. Um, it's just a, more of a curiosity at this point. Um, I like the idea of trying to fund what I do through YouTube. Um, I don't think I'll have like any big success, but you never know. Anyway, so you might notice that change, and if you don't like it, I'm sorry. Um, but uh, if you can sit through the ads, thank you very much, because every time you do that, that's supporting my channel, uh, financially speaking. So, thank you. Uh, yeah, uh, other than that, this is being shot 
the Sunday before Christmas, so holidays are going to be underway. I probably won't shoot a video for another week or two. Uh, take some time off to uh, do some things I want. Maybe I won't. I don't know. I'll, I'll wait and see, but this will probably be the last one for this year. And then hopefully get one to you in the new year. Maybe something different. I really should get out to the bushcraft camp. And I really should do like some adventures. Uh, some things have changed in my life. I'm not working again and I'm going back to school for a little while longer. Um, it's part of uh, my trade. Uh, so I'll have a little more time in my hands in a different way. So hopefully I'll be able to pump out some videos for you. Uh, while I've got this opportunity, happy holidays everyone. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for supporting me, everyone from family, friends and strangers. Uh, I'd like to say happy holidays to all my friends over in the UK and the United States particularly. These, there's a bunch of fellas that I've met over the last year that have been a great support to the channel and uh, I really like their channels too and, and uh, I think um, again it's just part of a community. Um, I've been quite bogged down with work so I haven't been a part of that community as much as I like uh, although I'm still making videos of course. Um, but at the end of the day it's, uh, it's a good group of guys. Yeah, and uh, it's getting better every day. So yeah, it's uh, you know it's it's kind of that time of year where it's harder to do things. You got to get out and adventure a little bit. I haven't had much of an opportunity, but now I think I will. So I've got a couple ideas. Um, what I'm going to do, well, I might as well say it here and then see if, and I'll put a poll up because I can do that now apparently. Um, basically, I was wondering if you guys would be interested in a fun video doing um, 10 questions over 10 pieces of steak, you know, soaked in hot sauce, different layers of hot sauce, hopefully progressively hotter sauces. I have 9 or 10, um, not too hot, but hot enough, and just have the questions submitted by the community and, and you folks, and then each piece of steak and hot sauce that I eat, I answer one question and just have a fun little video. It's kind of like a little play on Hot Ones if you haven't seen that one. It's a fun fun show to watch for, you know, celebrities and the like. Um, I do have a couple hot sauces that are pretty hot. I do have one in mind that I'm possibly going to buy as the finale. Um, but I'll be honest with you, I had a jalapeno the other day that, that Normally it's not an issue, but it, it burned my mouth off and I don't even know. So this could get really interesting. So in the comments down below, let me know if that's something you're interested in. Hit the like button if you're interested in a video like that. Uh, also, if you see it, I have a poll probably going to go up for it. Uh, weigh in on there and we'll see. And if I get a favorable response, I'll do it. If, if not, I'm not going to bother. It's a little bit of a, a different thing. It's not something that's normal, but it's all in good fun. and. Uh, you know what, screw it, I'll probably do it anyways. And, but I'd like to know what you guys think, and uh, I think it's always good to interact. So, uh, so yeah, comment below, hit the like button, and maybe fill out the poll. Uh, let me know that you're there, and let me know what you think. I think it'll be a lot of fun. I don't think it'll be a lot of fun afterwards, but I think it'll be a lot of fun to film. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, this battery's dying, so I'm going to uh, take a break here. Still quite chilly on the floor, so I'm going to enjoy my uh, mochaccino, coffee, whatever you want to call it thingy. And uh, yeah, we'll just keep on chucking. I think I got a plan. I don't know if you can see outside. Oh, look, it's beautiful outside. Looks really nice. Well, uh, it is going to be. Sorry, I'm kind of looking at the other screen a little bit. Uh, it's going to be a 4:30 sunset, and I know that I can get up and see a little bit. Maybe, maybe. So I thought I might go for a walk around 3:30 and head up the hill. I just wander around a little bit. I haven't been out that much myself, so um, might be an opportunity to get out and do some stuff. Uh, I got the GoPro with me so I can kind of be stretched that out and, and drag this bad boy out with me too. So, uh, at the end of the day, uh, yeah, it'd be nice to go for a walk, maybe see something, maybe get a few photos. Not much farther, we'll go a bit farther. 
just get to the top of that ridge there and take a look around. If I can't see a better or a higher point, head back and go to the other side. PEI is not known for uh, their big hills. There's no mountains, no nothing, just hills. Some decent ones. But let's get up here. I'm kind of rushing, really. Sun's up way high once you get up above the tree line. Uh, just kind of want to get an idea what's up here. All right, not too bad, it's a nice little view. It is, however, not as high as that over there. It's amazing, the sun's way high compared to what I see from the cabin. When I'm in the cabin, I'm so tight to the hill there. You can't even, uh, you would think the sun was like about to set. There's still at least so, about an hour, hour and a half left, so. After going up there, I feel like I'm on the dark side of the moon. Holy jumpings. Like, the sun was way higher than it is. Than it looks from where I'm standing. At the cabin, it's crazy. So this is like the easy stretch. It's kind of crusted over snow right now. Uh, it's not very steep here, but it will be shortly. So. Oh, it is a workout either which way. Should have brought snowshoes. There was a big rainstorm a few days ago. And pretty much all the snow is gone anywhere in town. So, wishful thinking me. Thought maybe, well, there wouldn't be too much snow kicking around here. And there isn't a ton, but... Definitely enough. So. so I'm hoping that when I get up there, I've kind of timed it all right. And I'm hoping there's a view. I'm moderately hopeful. Because I don't think that'll be the case. But, ah, get out and enjoy it. It's nice to see some of the property and move around a bit. Uh, it is a bit of a walk. And uh, I think I put enough logs on the fire to keep it going, so here's the hoping. I can see the light. I can see it. It's there. Almost there. Oh. It warmed me off, if anything. That's a good thing. No risk of hypothermia here. Good half hour, hour of sunlight before I freeze to death. So. Ah, I won't freeze to death, never do. Okay, so we're almost there. We're at the top of the property, basically. Uh, I'm gonna take my time now, because I just need to let some of this sweat evaporate a bit. I'm not exactly sure where I am. I feel like I'm not too far from the edge of the property this way, but I find it hard to believe I walk that far, to be honest, so. I'm gonna check my GPS and my uh, maps and just double check that and see if there's a better way out. But for now, I can get back that way. It's just a lot of work, so. Looks nice. Let's get going. So the wind's getting a bit vicious guys. It's uh, the way it is on PEI, the way the wind kind of curls over the fields. Uh, it's quite beautiful. The sunset doesn't look like it's going to be anything spectacular. Um, I'm kind of debating whether I should stay or not just because of the fact that it is getting quite chilly um, and I wasn't fully prepared for this. Um, I don't feel like I'm missing out. There's really not a lot here to look at. It's kind of plain and flat. It just depends on where you are most of the time. So if you can even hear what I'm saying right now. So I'm going to hang around for a couple more minutes, maybe get an extra shot or two, and uh, yeah, I just see from there. It's, uh, it's nice and bright, but there's nothing special in the sky so far. Um, but I don't know if I can sit around for the next 30 minutes and kind of freeze to death while, uh, while the sun goes down. So. It is still quite 
quite nice even though it's quite cold and windy. I'm going to turn off the camera for a little bit and see if I can uh, get a few more shots going. Okay, that was pretty fun. Uh, again, it's a little cold. Uh, it didn't uh, didn't turn out quite what I hoped. But it was better than nothing, definitely for sure. So, yeah, it's a bit of a walk back, about two kilometers now back. Uh, I gotta go through all that snow that I went through the first time. Son of a bitch. Anyways, it's not that long a walk. I'm just trying to go in my footsteps and see if we can make it down. So far, so good. So, yeah, it's been a beauty day. Uh, I wish there was a better view for you guys, but uh, you know what, now that I know it's here and I can kind of see a few things, I can kind of get an idea of the lay of the land and how I might be able to use it in the future. So. Definitely easier walking on the way down. I'm still post holding, which is fine. But I can walk in my own footsteps once in a while, so it's not too, too shabby. Uh, this image is probably pretty dark, given it's on the GoPro, so. GoPro so, 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 bro, so. Yeah, it's been, uh, it's been a lovely day. You're looking forward to that, that steak I stabbed a few times this afternoon. All in the, uh, all in the spirit of cinema. Probably can't see that, but that's uh, well, it looks like dog tracks, but I wonder if that's coyotes or not. I mean, they are dog. Look at that. Look at that. You see that? The bird just flew right up. Right up to me. I can't move the camera because it's on an angle. Look at that. Oh, wow. Holy crap, guys, that was amazing. I was literally just standing there looking at the dog tracks or whatever they are. And uh, the bird just kept jumping from branch to branch once I saw it. I mean, you probably heard it in the video. And then from there, it came within a foot. I mean, like as far as this camera's from my face, absolutely ridiculous. That was just, that was super cool, super cool. I think I got it on camera, I hope I did. Um, by now you would have seen it, so. Ah, uh, that, was, that was neat, totally. That makes for a good day right there. That's, usually nature doesn't creep up around here like that, but that was. Pretty awesome. I'm digging it. Home sweet home. Hopefully the fire's still going. Yeah, no, fire's going well. That's good. What a fun walk. Time to hit the fridge, get myself a beverage. Getting pretty close to supper time too. Definitely worked up an appetite. Hey guys, how's it going? Just out uh, early morning. The camera is kind of bright compared to what I'm seeing, but basically I'm just trying to get some pictures of the sunrise over the way there. There's some red skies coming in, which is nice, mixed with some clouds. So hopefully I get something. So I got up a little extra early for this. It's not extra early because it's, it's just after the winter solstice. So the days are slowly getting longer, about 40 seconds a day or so. Um, nice view across my ridge line there uh, where my cabin is and stuff. It's pretty neat. So I'm hoping to get a couple shots. It doesn't look like it's going to be anything spectacular, but a few snowflakes falling from nowhere. I don't know where the hell, heck they're coming from, but anyways, I'm going to hang out here for a little bit longer and uh, see what I can come up with. cold out. It's real cold. We'll 
tough through though, we'll tough through. No, well, it's not a bad morning at all. Uh, you see the moon in the background there? That's kind of neat, eh? That's pretty awesome. Uh, so I didn't uh, count on this so much. Uh, I didn't count on the uh, sun to have to go over another hill. So sunrise is not going to be quite the sunrise I'd hoped. I need to get to a higher spot, maybe up over there or whatever, but... You live, you learn. You live, you learn. Anyways, it's uh, Christmas Eve day now. Yay. Gonna have a big dinner tonight. Relax. Not that I'm not relaxing already. But should be good. It looks great. Just the photos I'm taking aren't great. I should maybe take a longer exposure. I'm gonna try that. Alright, talk to you soon. A little bit of a bust. Not too bad. A little un uneventful, really. I'm gonna have a few more minutes, but I'm freezing my nibs off right now. It's nice out, but it's cold, that's for sure. So we'll give it a few more minutes, but I'm not very hopeful at this point. So. Bye, humbug. Well, that was pretty fun. Uh, spent the morning just kind of fiddling around in camp and stuff and got a latrine belt for the winter. I've been kind of struggling to get one done. Uh, it's not perfect, but uh, it'll definitely uh, get us through the winter and then I'll be able to cover it over and make a better one in the spring. But for now, I just need something simple because it's slowly becoming an issue in terms of using the washroom every now and again, so we we will survive. Now, uh, I think it's time for some breakfast. Typical bacon and eggs, I think. Bacon, bacon, bacon and eggs. Okay, so I got a little bite to eat, so that's good. Uh, now I am gonna go get a mini Christmas tree for the cabin to clean things up a little bit. Um, that's for uh, Boxing Day. My girlfriend and I are going to come out here and open our gifts out here. So we're going to get a little small tree across the field near where the coyotes are. Oh, see the bird go by? Pretty cool. Um, yeah, so it's just a short walk over, so let's get going. Oh yeah, it'd be a great little tree, for sure. Pretty perfect. Uh. Yep, job well done.
Okay guys, that's about it for me today. Uh, it's been a fun overnighter. Did a lot of little things and got a lot done actually. So uh, yeah, it was a good trip overall. I had fun filming it. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget that. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit the like button down below. Don't forget to comment as well. Uh, yeah, happy holidays to everyone. Happy New Year. Take care.